today we're taking our friends Ava, Nick, and Matilde to our favorite spot in all of Baja. It has everything an overlander dreams of. Secluded wild camp spots, warm swimmable water, and epic mountain views. And the best part, it's all free. We're Cody, Olivia, and Roan. In 2022, we sold our house and all of our belongings to pursue our lifelong dreams of travel. For the next few years, we are driving Jambo, our 1985 Toyota Land Cruiser Truby, south on the Panamerican Highway to Argentina. Subscribe to join us weekly as we travel overland in our classic 4x4. For the past week, we've been traveling south through the Mexican Baja Peninsula with our friends Ava Zubek and Nick and Matilde of Next Meridian Expedition. In this video, we wrap up our 1,000-kilometer convoy from Ensenada to one of the most remote beach camps in all of Baja. When you start life on the road, it's easy to think that it's all about the places. But as you travel more, you realize that it's actually the people you meet along the way that truly make the experience. We couldn't wait to share what we think is the best spot in Baja with our friends. But first, we had to enjoy a morning dip at our current beach camp before heading further south. You ready to go swimming? Yeah, you wanna go swimming? Free. So Rona's been in there watching go swim, very jealous. And it's finally his turn, so we're gonna go first one. But first I'm gonna grab his frisbee because that's important. The morning is passing by pretty quickly and we need to get everything packed up. We're going to a beach called um, pretty secluded. It's a long, like, I don't know, two hour drive down a super steep track to get there. Uh, so we're going to put everything away and see who can pack up the fastest. Sadly, today and tomorrow are our last two full days with this group. And so we are going to just kind of soak up our time together as we head south from here. And we're going to head through Loreto down to which is like, our all-time favorite camp spot from last year in Baja, and we are really stoked to show these guys it. Um, it's it's just like peak Baja. We're all ready, got our radios on? Yep. <laughs> we just made it to a fuel station in Laredo. Ava's Filling up, she's got the smallest tank, and then we have Nick and Matilda back there. They're gonna fill up as well. And then we're gonna get some groceries, see if we can find some veggie burgers, and uh, post up at for a couple days. So in Mexico, the fuel fillers, they have really, really thick, girthy uh, nozzles, and they don't really fit inside our fuel port, so we kind of have to wedge it in there just properly. And then because of that, we have to fill up really, really slowly, otherwise it keeps clicking off. How low are you on fuel? Pretty low. I have like 100k left, maybe. Loreto is one of the three Pueblos Magicos, or magic cities, on the Baja Peninsula. And though we were excited to reach our camping destination after our quick resupply, we couldn't resist the urge to stroll through the historic town center that is the hallmark of Mexico's magic cities. Oh, that's it right there? That's it right there. Okay, cool. So Nick is taking us to a mission in town. <laughs> We're on a mission to find the mission. Exactly. <laughs> this has been a pretty nice little stroll uh, through the more historic portion of the city of Laredo. Uh, so far on this trip, we haven't really had a lot of time to do this type of um, pit stop and walking around town because we've been trying to make so many miles. But as we make our way towards mainland Mexico, we're uh, definitely planning to spend more time looking at the smaller towns, areas where there's a lot of historic um, value uh, that's still intact. We'll definitely be checking that stuff out. Hey, Roni. What's up, old dude? We've hit the dirt road going down to Agua Verde. So the uh, typical necessity of airing down has taken place. Everyone's going to about 20 PSI. It's uh, long and super steep.
long and super steep, but breathtakingly beautiful. The road to Agua Verde is what Overland dreams are made of. Dramatic mountain views that drop off into the ocean and the type of driving that exudes fun with just a touch of danger. As long as you don't accidentally drop off the cliff edges on the way down, several free, wild camp spots at the end of the road await as a sweet reward. This is the type of road where I really hope that full brake job that I did works out. Oh man. To be driving this road in a convoy of Troopy and Defenders, like, I know I keep coming back to this, but it is quite literally the dream. Troopy is so incredibly dirty but it feels good to be using it for the exact reason that we bought it for. Let's see what uh, Ava thought of the drive down. It's amazing, one of the most beautiful roads I've ever driven on, sure, it's amazing. Uh, was the drive-in worth coming to Agua Verde? Yes, it was. Um, it wasn't super rough, it was more like gravel, but rocky at the same time type of road. It took us, what, maybe an hour? Yeah, I think it's about an hour. Yeah. Right, yeah. So it took us an hour and then we got here and this place is beautiful and we're going to try and stay two nights, hopefully, right? Yeah, cool. yeah that's awesome. the plan. So after what was definitely a very epic drive, the whole way down here with the convoy, we've made it to the beach on Agua Verde. We are at our second favorite spot, kind of close to the restaurant. Um, and yeah, we're just happy to have brought everyone here. It seems like they all really liked the drive. The views are stunning and hopefully we'll spend a couple days here um, and yeah, just enjoy it. There was a collective sigh of relief when we finally made it to Agua Verde. For the next 48 hours, all we had to do was relax and enjoy the beach with great company. But these last few days would be bittersweet as our time as a group was coming to an end. Ava would depart shortly to visit home, and Nick and Mathilde would leave in a week on a ferry to Sinaloa State in Mexico. We knew we had found something special in this group, something that likely wouldn't be replicated again on our trip. The type of friendship that can only be built through shared difficulty like 4x4 recoveries, sketchy trails, and the shared understanding that life is too short to wait to take on a trip like the Pan American. Over the previous week, we really learned that it's not where you are, but rather who you're with. Our location had simply been the stage to grow new relationships. It didn't matter if we were on a beautiful beach or a mucky parking lot in town. We were with our friends. When this trip is over, the memories this past week will be the ones we cherish. We can only hope we'll see them all down the road. Let's do it. Selfie! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so so all the love. He's like, what's happening? Don't say it. I know, that's what I was looking at you. I was like, is she gonna say it? <laughs> See you next time. Yeah, see you next time. You too. Merry Have Christmas. fun. Merry Christmas see you. to you. See you. So good to spend time with you. Yeah. Mushki, 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 mushki. See you later. See ya. Say goodbye. That's it. If you haven't already, visit our channel to watch our two previous Baja Overland Convoy videos. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss the next one.